right, second grade friends, today we are going to be reading an informational passage, a text all about bats, and we are going to be using our text evidence. So we're going to be going back and reading the text and reading our evidence to find the answers down below. So first, we're going to read our passage, and then, like I said, we're going to go back and look for our text evidence to find our answers. So all about bats. This is an informational passage. A long time ago, people used to think that bats were hairless birds. We now know that bats are mammals. Bats are mammals because they have fur, feed their babies milk, and are warm blooded. Bats are the only flying mammals. All right, so that was paragraph one. Make sure you're following along with me. So put your finger right there on paragraph two. Different kinds of bats eat different things. The flying fox eats fruit. Many bats eat insects, fish, or frogs. There is a type of bat called the vampire bat who bites large animals like cows and then licks the wounds. Ugh. All right, now we're on paragraph three, so make sure you're following with me. Bats are nocturnal. Does anyone know what that means? This means that they sleep during the day and are awake at night. And I see that that word nocturnal is important because it's in bold print. Although bats use all of their senses, they also rely on a skill called, oh, another word in bold print, and it's a big one, echolocation. Say that with me, echolocation. Most bats are able to send out a high-pitched sound and use the echo they hear to locate food. All right, so we're going to use the information that we just read. And we're going to go back and look for our text evidence. Question one, what did people use, used to think bats were a long time ago? So what did people used to think? I think I remember reading that at the very beginning. Do you remember me reading that? Hmm. Oh. It's at the very beginning. A long time ago, people used to think that bats were hairless birds. So friends, I want you to go back and underline your text evidence. That was the very first sentence. Go back and underline that. All right, so you're gonna take that sentence that you just underlined and you're gonna write it down for your first answer. A long time ago, people used to think that bats were hairless birds, but now we know better. All right, I'm gonna give you a little bit of time to get that copied down, or if you need to, you can cop pause to catch up with me. Question two, this type of bat eats fruit. This type of bat eats fruit. And here are our choices. Vampire bat, flying fox, the micro bat, or the bumblebee bat. Hmm. I don't know that I even heard about it. Some of those in my story, but I'm going to go back and look for my text evidence. The question was, this type of bat eats fruit. And I know in paragraph two, they were talking about what different bats ate. Different kinds of bats eat different things. The flying fox, ah, here we go. The flying fox eats fruit. Friends, I want you to go back and underline your text evidence right there. Paragraph two. Sentence two, go underline that for me before you circle your answer. 
after you have that underline, you can circle the correct answer for question two. This type of bat eats fruit. All right, question three. Echolocation helps bats A, sleep, B, find food, C, protect themselves, or D, communicate. Now, I'm pretty sure I remember reading that in the last paragraph. Let's see. Oh, and I remember seeing that big word because it was in bold print. Although bats use all of their senses, they also rely on a skill called echolocation. Most bats are able to send out a high-pitched sound and use the echo they hear to locate food. All right, so I'm going to underline that. Most bats are able to send out a high-pitched sound and use the echo they hear to locate food. Underline that last sentence with me. And that was for question three. Echolocation helps bats sleep, find food, protect themselves, or communicate. All right, question four. The saying, blind as a bat, is accurate, true or false? Is that true or false? I'm going to let you guys circle the answer for that one. And then the last one, what does nocturnal mean? What does nocturnal mean? And I'm also going to let you go back and look for your text evidence for this one. I think that you can find this one. I want you to go back and underline your text evidence. You're going to be able to find that word nocturnal because it's in bold print. I have confidence in you. I know that you can do this one on your own. All right, friends, when you are looking for answers, um, if it's on a piece of paper, a, a short text like this, or if it's in a book and you're going back and looking for answers, go back and look for your text evidence. Alrighty, friends.